Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be my birthday weekend vlog. So I'm very excited. Today is Thursday, actually half past five in the evening. I'm gonna be completely honest, today's kind of been a bit of a sick day. I've not done anything because I woke up feeling horrendous. My body has been so achy. I've had a headache all day. <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear in my voice as well, but I'm feeling a little bit better and I've made myself look a little bit presentable because my boyfriend is taking me out this evening for my early birthday present. So I thought I would start the vlog today because I'm very excited. I have no idea where we're going. He said chuck something on casual um, and I popped a little bit of makeup on because I actually felt like death, um, to be honest. And it doesn't look great, but... It will do. Now we're out for the evening and it's Thursday the 11th. Tomorrow we're out with my family in London. Saturday we're out with both of our families. And Sunday is my actual birthday. Busy weekend, but yeah, I thought I would film today, show you what we get up to tonight and just show you snippets of the weekend. And I'm gonna be turning 27 on Sunday. Gross. We are on our way and it's only 14 minutes away. But apparently I've not been before. Yeah, nope. So. Still so bright at quarter to six and yeah, it is so warm. It's 20 degrees. We <laughs> have arrived and well, we're just coming up to the driveway. And on the journey, I kind of worked out where we were going which is a hotel called Down Hall and I'm laughing because Mike was just saying that he didn't think he'd ever been here before and I'd never been here before but then he realised earlier actually my sister got married here last year. <laughs> um, so we've definitely been here and it's stunning. So what are we doing here? <laughs> Interesting. The spa. Are we? Are we? Yeah! So I was trying to find you. Did you find one? I hope you found one that fits. Oh, <laughs> he's packed me a bikini because obviously I didn't know where we were going. Mm -hmm. And I have no idea which one he's packed. It's such a stunning venue. And yeah, my sister got married here two and a half years ago. We're in the spa. Couples massage. Friday. I actually didn't film as much as I wanted to yesterday but let me give you a little rundown um, because it was such a cute evening and I'm really really glad that we got to go because obviously I wasn't feeling great yesterday and I'll be honest I'm still not 100% back to my normal self but I'm definitely feeling better just having some strawberries and yogurt I've just had some lunch as well because my, my appetite is just literally in the last hour come back Obviously, you can't really film in a spa. I mean, you can, but it's to be relaxed in. We didn't film anything, really. It was so lovely, and it was such a warm evening, and it literally felt like we were on holiday. I didn't take my camera or phone in there because I wanted to chill. I did get a couple of photos, but that was it. And then we had a massage, which obviously you can't film as well. But then we headed back here, literally got changed really, really quickly. And we headed for dinner and I literally completely forgot my camera. I think I was so relaxed from the massage that I was just a little bit away with the fairies. It's a really cute kind of like wine bar, tapas -y italian type place we've been wanting to go to for ages and we went last night and that was so nice and then we got back about 10 o'clock and i went to bed and now we are on to friday and i've done my makeup already i had to film some content for a brand this morning but i probably will redo my makeup at some point i don't know um but we're going into london at about five o'clock this evening so a few hours but we're going to watch Michael McIntyre tonight at the O2 with my mum, my dad, my sisters and the boys um, because we all got it for my mum and dad for Christmas and we all got tickets as well because we thought it'd be a nice um, family 
night out. We have actually decided that we're probably just all gonna grab food separately on the way and meet at the O2 for a drink because it just gets so busy there. All come from different directions. Anyway, I wanted to show you my Zara haul. I did go shopping with my mum to Lakeside this week to get a couple of bits for my birthday, but obviously I'll get those on my birthday and I thought it'd be nice to have some clothes to wear on my birthday weekend. Um, and also I wanted to do a haul for Instagram and maybe TikTok. So anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get into the haul. I think I have another parcel coming today as well because it didn't all come in the same box for some reason. We have this pink jumper, which is really nice. I got this in a size large that would be nice and oversized um, and it feels so soft. It definitely screams spring. Also got this pink top, which is off the shoulder. Yeah, like that with long sleeves. And then it kind of ruches and it's pretty much the same shade of pink, tiny bit lighter. But obviously I was in a very pink mood. I feel like pink is fun on your birthday. Oh yeah, I got these tiny little shorts, which are not me at all really, but they, I think they were a set with this pink, that's the exact same pink. Um, and it looked really cute on the model. Again, not really me, a jumper with like tiny little shorts. But I thought, do you know what, for around the house, if these fit and they're not like knickers on me, then around the house in the summer, or like in the garden when I'm at my parents' house, um, or on holiday, I don't know. You know when you just wanna chuck something tiny on when it's quite warm, um, but still be cozy on the top half? I don't know, I need to try it on to see what it looks like, but in my head, it was quite cute so so far everything's pink then we have a skirt I'm not sure on this kind of like a canvas bag material which is quite cool but i don't know i have to see what it looks like on it's got these pockets at the back kind of like suit trousers and then like a little slip i don't know first impressions are I'm not sure oh I love this this is a skirt and I actually saw this in Zara at Lakeside the other day and it's pinstripe blue and white kind of denim -y, um long skirt and they also had a waistcoat which matched but I didn't get it for some reason I think I just thought mm, I probably wouldn't wear them together. Finally, I got some shoes because I kept seeing that so many people wear these shoes um, with like long trousers and they sort of like poked out the bottom and I just thought they were gorgeous. So I got my hands on them before they discontinue them because I feel like Zara do that. They are so lovely. Just taking the stuffing out of this one. How gorgeous are they? tiny little heel as well which is probably why i'd wear trousers to kind of cover the heel because this is the main bit so nice it's like pearls and diamantes and i have no idea if they're gonna fit actually let me try them on i feel like zara heels are always the comfiest as well oh yeah so yeah that is my little zara haul and i don't think i have the energy to try any of it on now but if I do try any of it on in this haul, which I might do, then I will show you. But anyway, right now I just feel like I do one thing like that and then I need to sit down for another 10 minutes. I'm going to go and do some editing and some planning of some content for next week. And I'll probably chat to you guys in a little while. It is 10 past four and we're planning to get the train at about five. So I don't have all the time in the world, but as you can tell, I've just got out of the shower, just had a freshen up, just gonna pop some makeup on. My makeup was actually really nice earlier, but where I've been sat down um, and just in it all day, it just started to go a bit horrible. So we're just gonna copy and paste what we did earlier, which was so simple. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this whole vlog so far is me complaining, but I still feel absolutely shattered. We're gonna power through and 
think I'll be fine once I get outside. It's such a beautiful evening. It feels so warm on the balcony and the sun keeps coming out, which is so nice. We are in two minds about what to get for dinner. There is a Popeyes at um, Stratford Westfield, which I've never tried. I think I might have tried maybe in America years ago. I don't, I'm not convinced I have tried it. So maybe that or something in like the street food area. I really can't bother to like sit down and eat at a table. You know what I mean, like in a restaurant. So like just doing my little skincare. I'm gonna do a little bit of Hollywood Flawless Filter. I really wish there was a fake tan that lasted for like a month straight because I feel like at this point I'm literally fake tanning weekly and I'm at that stage at the moment where it's so patchy. I actually hate not feeling 100% because I just feel like I've been so unproductive this week. And that is the worst feeling for me when I had so many plans and so many things that I wanted to get done and I just haven't. But I know it can't be helped when you just don't feel right. You have to just listen to your body. Haven't worked out really at all. I think I've done maybe one day in the gym. It's fine. We go again next week needing plenty of concealer today. Okay, I've just changed. I am wearing <clears throat> a bandeau. This is from Cotton On actually. This is such a nice chuck on bandeau for times like this or when you're on holiday or something when it's really really hot because yeah all of a sudden just got so warm i think it's really humid today this is the rimmel multitasker concealer i actually forgot how much i love this concealer it's one of my favorites a little bit of um charlotte tilbury beauty light wand i'll never get sick of this product Ever. it suits everybody and it just gives you that automatic color glow life back into your skin i also got so much pr this week which i filmed a tiktok on and i've said this on my tiktok before i don't know if anyone else does this but sometimes i film a whole like 10 minute tiktok that i'll obviously edit down and i go to click next and it literally just deletes the whole thing so i've i've started to just film all of my content off of the app off any app and just like edit it and then put it put it in there but i just don't know why my tiktok does that it's so frustrating because i went through a whole pr haul on tiktok and yeah gone and i was like i'm not filming that again because it was like my first impressions of unboxing little bit of powder i'm not really sure what i'm gonna wear tonight it's obviously the evening but right now it's really warm and sunny but later it'll be cold and i want to be comfortable i think i might do a little bit of eyeliner i actually really don't really ever wear eyeliner anymore just because i don't know just always forget about it okay i've just done my eyeliner and mascara this is my current favorite the maybelline sky high in just the standard black um i did have like all of the different colors and oh here we go i really like the purple maroon burgundy but i've just been using the black recently but another new favorite which i don't think i've spoken about on youtube yet is the rare beauty blushes i can only find two right here but they are so gorgeous and i picked them up from space and k i was so surprised when i managed to get my hands on them i've got three of them i've got truth happy and joy but i don't know where joy is but i'm gonna wear happy this is my favorite right now they're just so sheeny like it's the highlight mixed with the blush color and it's gorgeous oh put on a bit too much doesn't look that bad on in real life but i feel like i don't even need a highlight with this because it's so glowy can you see even on the nose like it's like a baked formula, which is one of my favorites ever. Um, should I do some freckles? Yeah, I kind of feel a little bit incomplete without freckles. My nose is running. I'm just going to take Gimme Brow 
from Benefit. This is my quickest, laziest way to do freckles and I just sort of stipple them on. And then before they dry, just tap them out. Cool, and then I'm just gonna set my brows, do my lips, go over my hair from this morning. Oak lip liner from MAC. This is a YSL lipstick called Love Shine and these are really nice because they're kind of sheer. It just gives a really nice wash of color. And then I'm literally just gonna go over my hair using the dry bar um, brush just to kind of flatten out all of these bits. And then I'm gonna get dressed. I will show you my outfit of the evening when I decide what to wear. Okay, I'm ready. I've chucked on the most random outfit. I've not worn this jacket in years, but because it's really warm, I don't really want to wear a coat, but it's also definitely not warm enough to wear this top that I've actually kept on. I wasn't planning on keeping it on, but it's really comfortable and kind of goes with my skirt. This skirt is from Cotton On. I'm just wearing some night like, blazers. Um, top is also Cotton On. And this jacket is from Nerd Unit. I actually have no idea if it's still a thing. It's honestly probably about five, six, seven years old. So this is my outfit. We need to go. We kind of match. Cotton on. Bershka. 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 And wallabies. That sun shining through is gorgeous. It's so hot. We had to run for the train, so I was taking off all my layers. Well, one layer, and yeah, it feels really, really hot today. We are at Popeyes in Westfield. Uh, take out, because then we can, or eat in, we'll find the table. Yeah, can we get the signature chicken? Classic. Branch. Buffalo? No, that'd be like, yeah, but they're buffalo. Yeah. We've got our food. Oh. Actually, it looks so good. <gasps> are these the tenders then? Yeah. Why are there so many? I thought we've got eight. <laughs> here last night and Neo and Mario were here a couple of weeks ago. Walking to Slug and Lettuce because that is where um, my family are having a drink. So we're gonna go and join them and it's seven o'clock, still bright skies and he comes on at eight. He might have a warm-up act actually, probably does. So nice! Ah, the O2 is so nostalgic for me. Brings back so many memories every time I walk in. We are very high up. There's nothing better than having the day or the evening in London and then coming home, taking off your makeup, getting in the shower, getting in your pajamas and going to bed. Um so that is where we are now. We're back and it was such a good show obviously couldn't film it wow my forehead looks so smooth and shiny um i actually haven't put any moisturizer on that's really bad i need to do that in a minute but yeah the show was so funny and we accidentally got into the mad rush in the o2 because when it's a performer don't know why i said it like that when it's a, a performer, usually they say goodbye, like good night, thanks London so much, and then they perform one last song. Like we know all their tricks. Um, but when it's like a comedy act, they don't really do that. They just say, okay, thanks so much, bye, and they actually leave. So you don't really know the best time to leave, and I had no idea what time he was gonna 
stay on till. So we just got caught in the mad rush, which was bad, but it actually wasn't terrible. It's midnight and we've just got home. It was a really fun night. I don't think I vlogged much after Popeyes. We went to the Slug and Lettuce, met my family for a drink. And I also got my camera taken off me in the O2 because it must be a new rule because there have been plenty of times of a camera and it's never happened before, but they said, you're gonna have to collect it at the end. Um, so that is what I did. So I couldn't even vlog anywhere. I think I've vlogged a tiny, like filmed a tiny bit on my phone um, of the arena, but that was it really. So I guess I'll see you guys in the morning and it looks like it's time for me to fake town again. Good morning, everyone. It is my birthday and I've got breakfast in bed. Um, I've just taken a bite, but it's one of my favourite breakfasts, which my boyfriend made, and it is avocado on toast. Also got um, a morning coffee. I am 27 years old right now. Shock, I've woken up all bunged up, but hopefully when I get up and shower and stuff, I'll feel a little bit better. One of my favourite things to do on a Sunday, especially, have a nice chilled day, go for a walk at some point, and then get some food and that is just my ideal day so that is what i wanted to do it is such a beautiful day today look at that blue sky i'm just getting ready and i've done something different with my hair i've decided to kind of do a half up half down um slick whenever i want a slick look this is the best this is from way and it's a matte pomade and it's so easy to use and i just use it with this brush from lee stafford but you can get these sorts of brushes anywhere. They're just really good for um, getting the hair really smooth. Now I'm gonna do my makeup. I've also got on one of my new tops from Zara. Doesn't really sit right with my arm like this. That's a bit better. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on all day because we are going for a walk at some point and it's not really walking attire, but it is my birthday. I really love the shade of pink. I'm gonna wear it right now because I'm gonna film a little makeup birthday, get ready with me. Um, take some photos and I might change for the walk, but I think I will keep it on for dinner because I think it's cute, but I probably won't do anything different with my makeup today. That's how boring I am. So yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I'm ready, this is my makeup of the day. It's very, pink i decided to put some blush on my eyes to match the vibe um yeah i'm ready and i'm gonna head to my mom's now so i'll bring you along with me and we're going for a walk and dinner i think later which will be really nice so let's go this is my full outfit of the day i've got these jeans on from cotton on my pink and green gazelle and then this is the zara top up close i do actually have a black bra on underneath so it's a bit annoying but it's the only strapless bra I could find so it's gonna have to do look at my beautiful display from my mum and dad and sisters and to be honest with you I know what most of these presents are because we went shopping um last week and I think there's some holiday bits so I'm very excited I've got some flowers I think we're gonna take them outside because it is such a gorgeous day. We're all sat out in the garden. Hello, baby. Hello. 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 I like your outfit. <laughs> Yay. Can you clap? Yeah. You're a very Basket. happy 27th birthday. <gasps> really? Thirty-one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Teenies. Yeah. So I've got these denim shorts. I'm gonna borrow that when we go to New York. <laughs> I love that. Got a nice basic vest. It's <gasps> Do you like my white blazer? Wow. Nice. Cool. Wow, that's really oh. nice. <gasps> Having an auntie like you makes the world a nicer place. <laughs> oh, your first auntie. First it is. Auntie. What's this? Another candle? Yay! The happiest Ooh. memories always put a little warmth yeah. in your heart. Lovely. What the hell? I know, I actually know what that is. I know what that is. Why are you saying actually? Because I've wrapped it. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby sister 27. Books! <laughs> the whole collection! Oh my god! 
Well, I didn't, no, need, I didn't need the whole collection. Now I've got a lot of You've pressure. got loads of holidays. Cult of Thorns. Yeah, apparently it's a really good series. That is really good. <laughs> if even if it's a display, I'm joking. Thank you. Can you can tell them it's not. Oh, is this supposed to be a present? I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> is it yeah. mine? It's ripped. Yeah, that's just in there, isn't it? I don't know, that's so weird. That's quite it? funny actually, put that in your bag. I'm just checking, like, that's not an extra present <laughs> no, because present, yeah. I, I do have that. Aww. Aww. To my sibling, I love growing through life with you. Yay, new sunnies! I love these. They're the ones. Mm. Yeah, these are the ones. Are they Robins? No, they're Key Australia. Still and last but not least, I know what oh, this is, well, yeah. a new beauty blender. <laughs> Thank you so much. And help me open my cards. Yeah. The 14th. Smile. Needs big birthday love. <gasps> wow. Oh. Thanks everybody. I'll text them. What are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you. What time is it? Yes, that's lovely. Wow, it looks really good. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yum. It is now Monday the 15th of April. I had the loveliest birthday weekend and I've put all of my cards up on display. Um, I've got my flowers in my vases over there. A very full-on busy weekend but yeah here's to chapter 27 who knows what this year will bring I want to say I've had seven birthdays on YouTube I think which is mad but thank you so much for all of the love the birthday messages and everything like that I'm so grateful and I feel so 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 lucky um but yeah I just wanted to come back and end this vlog here hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video bye